guys, it's Angie with Gigi's Art Treasures. I just wanted to give you guys a really quick tour of my craft space now that it is completely finished. And I wanted to share this with you guys because I've had a couple of people ask me, you know, how is your craft room coming along? How do you work in your craft space upstairs? How does that work as far as, you know, having a separate house or having a separate room in your house, I should say. I'm going to need a separate house one of these days, I tell you. I've got so much craft stuff, it's ridiculous. But I have it organized in such a way that not only do I use this room as my craft space, but I also use this room as my dressing room, my clothes, where I keep all my clothes. So I'm going to, I have you on the tripod because I don't want to make you guys sick. So if it's kind of strange um, going around, then, you know, I'd rather do that than just have you all dizzy and everything. So this here is a sign that I made for my door. And it just says, Gigi's Art Treasures Welcome. And I just have it hung up on the door with a push pin. And I have some beading and some homemade flowers on here. And basically, I want people, when they come upstairs and they see that this is a craft space, that they're welcome to come in. Pick up a paintbrush, pick up a pencil, pick up some canvas, some sketch paper, and just sit down at the table and feel right at home to do a little bit of art. This is my dresser over here, and I really don't want to get into the shot because I haven't done my hair or anything today. Um, but this dresser we got from Dennis's mom. Um, when she moved to Florida, she basically got rid of all her big, big furniture, and she gave this dresser to me, and then she had another dresser that she gave to Dennis. I just have some knick-knack items up here on the top. As you can see, um, some other stuff that I had gotten from her that she wanted me to have. And then, of course, I keep all of my perfumes and other stuff here. So as we pan around, I'm going to slide this tripod over just a little bit without making you guys sick, hopefully. Um, this is my rack where I keep all of my nail polishes. I don't have enough nail polishes. Obviously, there are some empty racks here. I think I need to fill, finish filling this up. <laughs> just kidding. I think I have enough nail polishes. Um, but this is just a clothes rack that I got from Amazon.com. And I do have all of my hanging clothes in the closet. I initially bought this because I thought it would be really cool to take all of my clothes out of the closet, put them up on this rack, I could see what I had, blah, 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 blah. But now that I'm no longer working in the corporate world or have the need to get dressed up to go see clients, any of that, I'm just a stay-at-home, full-time artist and um, studying to become a nutritional health coach, I don't feel like I need all of the dressy, dressy, frou-frou clothes anymore. Um, and plus, I've kind of outgrown some of them because I've gained weight. So, whatever. <laughs> anyway, I digress. But uh, So, what I did was I took this rack and I just took one of the um, plastic drawer rolling carts. I popped the wheels off of it. I stacked them on top of each other and now this holds a lot of my various art supplies here. So I'm going to swing you around just a little bit. Get a better view. Okay. So now here I have a table uh, where I store my printer and I have a box of paper, um, like painted paper and scrapped, scrap craft book paper, or I'm sorry, scrap scrapbook paper. <laughs> Say that three times fast, would you? Um, and I store all of my scrap paper in there, my painted paper, anything that I want to have access to so that I can just pull it out and use it on collage or whatever I want to use it for. Now up here, I have some... Um, of my handmade mini journals on the shelf. And then I have this wood carving. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see it. I have this wood carving that my dad made for me a long time ago. It's a wood, burn, wood burning carving. I forget what you really call it, a wood burning thing. Anyway, it says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And it's signed by my dad at the bottom. It says Jay Hutchison. He made this for me when I lived out in Vegas and he sent it out to me. And I was really, really happy when he did because I love it. And then up on the top shelf here, um, as you can see here, if I can point at it, this 
piece of art right here is a white wolf just kind of like on a glass plaque. Um, it's a gift that I bought my dad a long, long time ago because we were into the Native American heritage and studying the history of Native Americans and our culture because we have Native American history in our family. I have Blackfoot, I have Cherokee, and I have Apache in my background, and it's quite a combination. So I wanted to study as much as I could about um, American history and Native American history. So we were really into that. And then this piece right here, if I can point to it, this piece right here, this Indian head is a piece, is one of the very first paintings that I ever did. And it's actually a piece of ceramic. Um, it was fired, I painted it, and then it was refired. And I gave it to my dad one year for Christmas. And when he passed away a year ago this past January, um, he wanted to make sure that I got those things back. What you doing, Gracie? You knocking things over? My cat's down there below. And she's knocking stuff over, so just ignore her. So I went ahead and took it off of the tripod because I feel like I have a lot better control um, over what I'm showing you. So hopefully I won't make you sick. Um, this is the first craft room tour that I've ever really done. So hopefully um, I can show you everything without making you guys see sick anyway. So this on the wall right here is a piece of art. From my beautifully talent, talented friend Jenna Belly, and she sent this in her one of her mystery mail packs. So I cut it into a circle because what I want to do is I actually want to get a frame for it and uh, put a really nice frame on the wall. And it's just a whiteboard where I've hung up some pictures of my family. Uh, there's a picture of me and my sweetheart right there. And some other artwork and then this right here I really love this I'm very very proud of it this is one of the backgrounds that I made for my videos and it just says Gigi's art treasures on it and I love this I actually just finished this this morning and then I have another whiteboard there more craft storage more craft storage more craft storage now as you can tell I am totally into the zebra theme Pink and Zebra is what I love. So I bought these storage um, containers at Walmart and brought them home and I took some Zebra printed duct tape and decorated each of the drawers. And then I had that Zebra print throw and I just put it on top so that it would kind of cover up that little dip that's in the top. And I actually have some wood laying on top and it kind of gives it a little bit more of an even surface and that way I can store more stuff on top. So here is my actual art desk. Let's see if I can move my chair out of the way for you. Um, I have some shelving up here with some storage. I have my craft turntable thing, whatever you call it. Um, I have a journal that I'm currently working on, one of the projects I'm working on, my computer, my pens, everything that I need that I like to have at arm's length is all right here. I got this table from Craigslist for $30. We actually bought two of them. And I was using one as a desk and one as an art table. This is one of the projects that I made for Lifebook 2015. Um, this is the one lesson. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, you would see that I had posted it. We're supposed to have a life book, but I actually have a life room. <laughs> because all the art that I do, I pretty much just put all over my room as you can see and I love twinkly lights um, that's just a heart garland the small one above that is just a heart garland that I did at, out of a with a paper punch and just punched hearts out of paper and then strung them up on some embroidery floss and then I love to collect different tchotchkes and things to hang up on my wall or in my on my cork board or something like that um, just to give the room some different variety of things um, this is a picture of my amazing and wonderful brother. This June will be three years ago that he passed away, and I absolutely love him to death, and I miss him horribly. Um, this jar is uh, my favorite things jar from the Lifebook 2015 lesson. The uh, flag or the banner or whatever you want to call it is what I made in the Jenny Belly's birthday bash. 
I loved this. It was so much fun. There was like, oh my gosh, there had to be 500 of us in that room, um, in the chat room. And there were so many of us in there just chatting back and forth and just becoming good friends and just talking back and forth with one another. And it was absolutely amazing. We were sharing ideas. We were sharing stories. We were sharing artwork. Um, it was one of the best events that I have attended online in a very long time. And then I have some cubes that I bought from Target a while back, and I have just some various items stored in there. Um, and as you can see, I've got a nine cube, and then I've got a six cube laying on its side, uh, stacked on top of each other, just for extra storage. And then I've got some wood shelving kind of laid out across the top for all my scrapbook paper and other additional storage. And then I have more of my artwork hung up on the walls. And then this is my sewing station and my cutting station. Um, here is where I have my brother sewing machine. And then this yellow and white crochet, I actually got this for $2 at Goodwill and I loved it. It's in perfect condition. If I can get my cat Bella to stay off of it and stop snagging at the yarn, it will probably stay in perfect condition. Um, Every time I see her on it, I have to make her get down. So frustrating, but she likes to lay on things that she's not supposed to lay on. Because, you know. But anyway, so I got this lamp right here from Goodwill for $3. The lampshade was $1. The lamp base was $2. And then the switch was broken, so we had to go and buy a switch for it and put it on there. It's like an inline or in cord switch where you just kind of turn it. It's on a little dial. Um... So Dennis was able to fix that for me. And then here's some other things that I just have um, hanging up on the wall. Um, that dream catcher is one that my dad had that he left to me when he passed away. And I will never, ever, ever get rid of it. Um, I've got some of my paper flowers that I learned how to make in Jenna Belly's class. And i got some artist trading cards that I've gotten from some people hanging up on my little picture frame thing. And here is my pride and joy. Oh my gosh. My bead boxes and my happy mail and my ephemera and my bead boxes and my bead boxes. It's crazy. Now, Jenny, you wanted to see, I'm hoping you're going to watch this video, but you wanted to see my inspiration station once I got it all complete. And here it is. So I'm going to pull it out and show it to you real quick. Okay, so I wanted to try to get an overhead shot of this inspiration station. And this is one of those containers that I got at Target that's got the two boxes that sit on top of one another. So you can see they kind of pop off of each other. And then in here, I wanted to build a separate kind of an insert box that I could store all the little stuff in and then still have room underneath to store other stuff. So, Jenny, here it is. This is my inspiration station. I don't have everything in here that I want to have in here, and it's always evolving like you said it would be. So I'm sure that I will be finding some stuff to add to it um, later on. I'm sure I will be taking some stuff out and using it because that's what you do. And uh, anyway, so here it is. So this is the top part. This was made with some foam board that I hot glued together and then I covered the tops and the sides with some washi tape and it's starting to fall apart um, as you can see here it's coming loose I need to re-glue some of the places but for now it'll work um, so I just pulled this out because I wanted to show it to you and I dropped it and spilt it all over the floor so I had to go and pick it up so sorry about that but these are just some cute little pieces that I got from a lady online that we did um, just some happy mail to and from one another. It's got a little shoe horse, shoe horse. It's got a little seahorse, a little fish, and then some different rhinestones and stuff like that in there. And uh, I will use these on something, or maybe I'll just use it as inspiration. I don't know yet, but it came in this cute little flower shaped pot, and I love it. Um, then I have some various other little stuff here. This is just a little um, plastic holder that has maps on it. And I got this in some happy mail and I thought that would really be kind of fun. And 
And so then I have some other glitter items in here, some little glitter stars, some more glitter stars um, in different colors. I actually bought these on eBay to do with um, to do my nails with, and I didn't like the way that they were on my nails. So I stuck them in here to use them in my art. This is some of the polymer clay buttons that I've been making. So I stuck one of those in there. Um, just some broken jewelry. Some more broken jewelry. This one I really love because I like using the different um, baubles and pearls and butterflies and stuff like that in my art journals. Love that. Uh, here's some more pieces. Just a hook with a little clasp on it. So I think it came off of a lanyard. And then just some various little buttons and stuff like that in here. Some pieces of wooden game pieces. Broken earrings and all of that fun stuff. More broken jewelry. And I like using broken jewelry because I don't throw it away. I don't feel like it's going to get wasted. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I received it in some happy mail. I won't complain because I'm sure I'll find a use out of it somewhere. Um, these are just some craft embellishments that I got from Michaels. They're just all cat themed. Here's a cat head with a fish in its mouth and I think this one right here is probably one of my favorites. I just think it's adorable. And then the lady also sent me some little plastic baby bottles. Have no clue what I'll do with those. I don't have kids, but maybe somebody will be having a baby shower or something and I can use it in that. Some earrings. Um, just all kinds of stuff. Here's a golf tee. Now what would I do with a golf tee? I don't know, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Um, this is just a little wooden bottle. It actually opens. Uh -huh. I think that's so cute. I don't know what I would put inside of it. I may take this washi tape off and maybe repaint it. I don't know. I just have it in here because I love it. Um, here's a little felt Christmas tree. Isn't that adorable? I got this just earlier this year, so I'm sure I will use that in my artwork somewhere. When the holidays roll around, um, here's another one that's hung on a little circular like clasp holder type thing so maybe it's meant to be an ornament I don't know but anyway this little section right here is my favorite section these are my homemade paper beads that I got as a gift from Jenny I absolutely love these um, when she first showed these paper beads she talked about how she put the metallic um, the nail metallic stuff on there that you get to like do your nails I think she got it like when she was really super young um, and I wanted to go and get some so that I could do the same thing. And then she turned around and sent me some in a little happy mail. So thank you, Jenny. I love these. This one right here is one of my favorite. I don't know why it reminds me of the roly poly bugs, um, that I used to see when I was a kid. And if you don't know what a roly poly bug is, they're kind of long and like an oblong shape. And when you touch them, they roll up into a ball. And that's what this bead reminds me of. Happy, happy childhood memories. So I'm so glad that you sent that one to me, Jenny. Same with this one. This one kind of, whoops. This one kind of reminds me of a roly-poly bug too. So I need to learn how to make these beads. And that's one of those ones that's going to take time and patience. If you haven't seen Jenny's tutorial on how to make paper beads, go to her YouTube channel. She's Jenna Belly. Look for one called Massive Paper Bead Tutorial. I'll put the link down below for you. It is so much fun to make paper beads. I do it quite often and love doing it. Here's just some more of the beads that she made me. And then these beads are beads that I got off of a piece of broken jewelry. I just included them in there because they're also part of my favorites. And then just some various other stuff. You know, I've gotten in my Happy Mail little baby journals and stuff that Jenny had sent me. Um, I kept the wrapping. Here's one of her little mini journals about inspiration that she sent me. I kept that in the in my inspiration journal um, because if you can't tell she's been quite an inspiration to me as an artist. This button is from her recycled buttons tutorial. I actually made this recycled button out of cardboard according to her video. Again, I'll link that video down for you so that you can go to her video and watch it and learn how to do that for yourself. And then these are just some little uh, floral embellishments that I got in uh, at Michael's. So when you pull this out, 
there's a whole nother layer under here a whole nother layer of deliciousness under here and I put all of my bigger things that I just want to save or I just love and I don't want to get rid of ever you know it's kind of like my little keepsake box but then I do pull it out and I read through it and I use it as inspiration you know if I can't figure out how what kind of doodle I want I'll pull this stuff out and look at it and be a copycat because you know I love Jenny and she doesn't care um, this is a um, just a card that she sent with some elements that you can cut out and you can paste on your own artwork um, here's some paper that I saved I actually sent some of this paper to Jenny that she used in my I think I got the November challenge on her journal work workshops and she used some of that paper in the November challenge that um, my name was picked from here's some more of her note cards that she's made and sent to me um, various other pieces of ephemera here's some note cards that I've made these are actually for sale in my Etsy shop I'll put a link down below for that um, some butterflies not butterflies ladybugs and then just some various pieces of ephemera that I've gotten from people um, I love this it is um, off of a piece of a card that she sent me that Jenny sent me and I cut it out and saved it because I just love it and then I'm not sure what that is it is a coin but I don't know if it's a real coin that they put a hole in or if I don't know it's a little I have to look at it a little closer I think it's like a little Chinese coin or something I'm not sure I'm not even sure where I got it so I'm gonna have to look at that a little closer and, and figure out what that is so that's what this section is down here and then down here I have my bigger pieces so I have some alphabet that I got from Jenny's I've got all of her zines that I have purchased from her um, different magazine cutouts here's the gratitude journal that I got from Jenny um, that I saved and I'll probably be using someday soon when I finish up working in the one I'm currently working in just more zines like all of her Jennabelli's journals I bought all her Jennabelli's journals and her zines and everything because I was so inspired by her and I actually had them in a little binder but I took them out because I didn't just I just didn't like them in there but every everyone that she has done and put on sale on her Etsy shop here it is here's the Jennabelli's journals this is slam packed full of amazing information about her art and her inspiration behind it if you have not bought this if you're not a follower of Jenny you need to be and if you are a follower and you haven't bought this you definitely need to because she gets so personal with her art in there and that's not something you know Jenny's a very private person she doesn't you know always share all of her information so publicly but and you know it's not completely 100% you know out there but she does share quite a bit of information so just some more painted paper and some additional artwork that I have done that I keep in here so that is my inspiration station and every time I get stuck or I, leave, I need a little nudge on how to do something I always come to this box and look through it and sometimes I come to this box just for pure giggles of wanting some inspiration and to just kind of take a look back at the stuff that I've purchased in the past or that I've made in the past or have been given in the past and just relive those beautiful memories of the days that I've you know from when I first received them so that is it for my craft room tour I hope you guys enjoyed this and if there's anything that you've seen in my craft room that you want me to show you how to do a tutorial on then please leave me a comment down below and I will definitely work on doing that for you thanks so much and bye